I'm out here today at one of my old dig spots. As you can tell, they have cut down all the woods. And I'm back out here. I haven't been here in about a year, and I figured I might as well dig this place one last time before it gets built on top of. And if you look over here, where the old house foundation was, there's a bottle exposed right on top. This is where the chimney used to set, right here. You can see that bottle. It's a cork top. I don't think it's that old. Ain't that something else? Old medicine, I guess. Could have been a castor oil bottle. Neat. We're going to crank the detector up and see if we can find some relics. Let's get to it. First find with the detector. You can see it's right on top of the ground. Showing up in the 70s. It looks like a hem weight. Ain't that something? It sure is. Old lead hem weight. They would sew that under their dress or up under their hat to keep it from flying off and sometimes they'd use them for curtains as well. This is crazy! I just eyeballed an arrowhead. Do you see it? It's barely sticking out of the ground. It could be broken, but I don't think so. Oh, it is, but man, that is pretty cool. Wow. I found one similar to it last year at this site, about right over there. So there could be more. We'll have to dig around and see if we can find any. Well, I just pulled out a neat little button. It has a train on it. Overall button, probably. Maybe early 1900s. That's all right. Wasn't down, but a couple inches. Just found another old weight. It's either a hem weight or one of those uh, things that makes a whistling sound when you put a rope through it and try to spin it. That's cool though. Second one of the day. I have a really good signal here. It's showing up in the 90s. Let me show it to 88. you. 88. Every now and then it'll hit the 90. It could be iron. I don't think so. Let's dig around it real quick. It's a big object. It seems to be. It may just be junk. You never know. It's not that shallow. Oh man, is that it? Oh, I don't know what that is. It's solid brass. Wow. I'm near the barn foundation. The barn's right over there on the other side of that brush pile. That is very neat. We'll have to clean it up a little bit more later. There could be some markings on it. But it looks to be solid brass. Let's check the detector. Yep. It's giving a high-pitched tone, so it's not iron. There's something else in the same hole. Might be iron. Yep. Just old iron ring. Oh well. Never know. <laughs> it's got a killer 85 signal. And it's a Model T Ford hubcap. It's pretty cool. It's down about two inches deep. It's been smashed, but they're neat to find. Just located something down here. I don't know if you can see it, but right there looks to be a ring. It sure is. Cheap one. I'll take it solid brass, looks like. Well, I'm at a different spot now. I'm searching around this big tree, and I just found an old pocket knife. That's pretty cool. Let's cover this hole in and see if we can find some more. There's the tree stump right there. Old tree, maybe 150 years old. I don't think anybody would ever think to look here, but I just got a really good 86 signal. It was down about 8 inches. And it's another Model T Ford hubcap. That's pretty cool. Looks just like the first one. Awesome. I think we're getting on an old house site. Here are the finds from the hunt. Got out for about three hours today. Checked out two different spots. Found two Model T Ford hubcaps. Made in USA. Love finding those things. It seems like you find them at every old house site you go to. Dug a bunch of iron. All kinds of unique items there. That right there is heavy duty. They made stuff good back then. There's a stove lid. 
what it looks like. Uh, hoe, old chain, and just a bunch of other things there. I'm not sure what this is now. It's not brass. It don't look to be brass. It's like of a like a silverish color. So I don't know what it's made out of, but whatever it is, I'd say it's pretty old. Maybe y'all have an idea. I'll keep it though. Got that arrowhead. It's broken, but it's still a cool piece of history. I bet you some kid found that while he was out there plowing the field and he brung it home and was playing with it out outside the house and he lost it in the yard. Either that or a Native American actually lost it right there before that house site was even built. These things here, I thought they were hem weights, which they could have been used as hem weights, but they're actually little buzzer toys. I guess that's what you'd call them. Uh, they make buzzing noises. What you do is you'd put two strings through here and you'd wind it up and you'd spin it and it goes buzz. And I guess kids would play with those back in the day. It's called a whirly gig. That's what some people call them. I dug some more at that site years ago. There's one right there. And you can see I found another broken arrowhead there, which looks similar to the one I just found. They were probably 10 feet apart. That's a V-nickel. And I have some other odds and ends that I pulled out of that house site. Found a couple more buttons and a broken spoon handle. This is a really old pocket knife. I didn't think it was that old, but it has a shield on it. So maybe mid-1800s to late-1800s. And a bunch of shotgun shells. So that's pretty much it. I uh, hope you all enjoyed the hunt. Thanks for watching. And God bless. For the word of the cross is folly to those who are perishing. But to us who are being saved, it is the power of God.